What happens when you put a busy casino in a very busy and troubled area? Well, it becomes a magnet for trouble and a constant destination for cops. On special assignment, News 13's Jose Mitri shows you how much time police are spending at the Albuquerque Downs racetrack and casino and how they hope to curb the crime there. When the sun goes down, the number of calls for help usually goes up here at the Albuquerque Downs racetrack and casino. The casino at Central in Louisiana is on state property at Expo New Mexico, so the New Mexico State Police Department shows up when something goes wrong. Like here in June, when police say Daniel Zephyr was trespassing. What kind of weapons do you have, sir? He took my staff okay. and my hat. He's off to the right there where he chained himself to the fence. Police cut him free and video shows he's dressed up like a king. Of course you're going to do this it's King Daniel. Police have dealt with Zephyrie here before. The casino's private security guards say he even called and threatened to shoot up the place. And he said that he was going to destroy the building and kill everybody inside. And uh, Jesus told them that we're unrighteous and unholy. This is just one of 31 calls for service state police handled at the Downs in June, according to the Department of Public Safety records. And it was even worse in the months before that, with 32 calls in May and 35 in April. That's an average of one call a day. On the busiest days, police actually got up to five calls. That's an overwhelming amount of calls. The community is concerned. Joanne Landry is president of the Trumbull Village Neighborhood Association in what is now called the International District. We don't need any more problems here. And pulling our state police officers off the streets when they need to be there, um, that's a big issue also. We asked State Police Chief Pete Cassettis about it. It really became a problem for us as far as managing our manpower and really in all fairness to the taxpayers, we'd rather be out there serving the public than having to continue to respond to this entity. He says when his officers would normally be enforcing traffic laws, trying to stop drunk drivers on a Friday or Saturday night, they were spending that time at the privately owned downs instead. Well, if I had, say, four or five officers that were assigned to this particular area, Usually two or a sergeant and two would be called in on any given night to deal with some of those issues at the Downs. Those issues include stolen cars, stolen money, fights, and people refusing to leave after their 86th from the casino. A lot of it is caught on surveillance cameras, like this theft in March. You can see a man is getting money from the machine here when he realizes he left his wallet somewhere. He goes to track it down so it doesn't get stolen, and instead, someone steals his $250 from the machine. <laughs> We called several times and left messages with multiple people at the Downs, which is owned by Albuquerque businessman Paul Blanchard and his Louisiana-based partners. I'm calling to speak to someone about doing an on-camera interview. Despite the casino's use of state-owned land and state police, no one from the Downs even bothered to call back to discuss the crime concerns. But state police says it's now worked out a deal with the Downs. Over the last few months, state police says the Downs has paid officers overtime to patrol the premises on Friday and Saturday nights. They pay the bill, not the taxpayer. It allows dedicated officers to deal with issues and hopefully their presence persuades people not to break the law and I don't have to bring in the regular shift officers off the road. He says it's too early to tell if it's working, but he hopes his officers will face fewer situations like this. You'll never help you. I don't know how many times you put me in the office. On special assignment, Lizay Mitri, KRQE News 13. The number of calls for service in the first couple months since the new plan went into place hasn't gone down. In fact, they're actually up at 36 calls in July and 38 in August. 